Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. What I want to cover in this module is how you can quickly get data into SmartArt objects by just copying and pasting. So what I've got on the screen are some people and their appointments. Now at the moment I've got them in separate columns so you can see how this will impact your diagrams. But what I want to do is copy these people and put them inside a hierarchy smart art diagram. So if I go to insert and get that diagram, hierarchy, that one. So there's a diagram. So all you have to do to get this to work is click here. So if this isn't displayed, you just collapse that out of the way and click it again, it'll come up. Just do control A to select all the text and then control V to paste it in. And then it's a case of just clicking on this list and pressing tab to build up your structure like so. So that's fair enough with just that column. But what about the other two columns and the, the appointments? I want that in here as well. So if I just delete this one off and highlight the whole of this table, let's see what happens there. I'll copy that and then do the same thing again. Smart art, hierarchy, top left, and control V there. Now, this is coming a bit weird. You see how it all sits there, it's all a bit squashed and a bit truncated, and not really liking how it looks. So, what I'm going to do is come off this and use Flash Fill to make all this into one sort of cell. So just press escape on that. Now flash fill is a really cool feature where you can type an idea or, or an example of what you're after like that. So I want that to be all the way down, highlight all of this and then do control E, which will fill that down and then use this like this to create my structure. So if I copy that and then go and get the smart art hierarchy diagram, that one, Click OK and then do Control A again to highlight all that data and paste it. And I'll get it sitting like this, where if I just move this across a little bit, you've got the sales manager is underneath the MD, so you need to press your tab key. The sales reps, the three of them, if you highlight them, press your tab key, they'll all come out like that. Um, so sales manager, so they're not coming underneath what I want. So if I press tab again for those three, they'll become underneath the sales manager. Then I've got Bob Green, HR manager. I press tab. He comes down from underneath the MD and his subordinate, if I press tab twice, Carol Jones, HR admin will come down. Now that'll disappear as soon as I click off this. So once you've done that, you can close that off and then click away from this. And there is your little diagram. We'll just use copy and paste a few tabs to create your structure. Now I did, to be fair, make sure these were in the right order beforehand. If you need to move an order around any of these to get them in the right groups, you just highlight the whole row, pull them up if you want to move it and then hold your shift key down and then wherever that line is, is where that person will move to. I'll just undo that. You may have noticed that this isn't dynamic, so it's not actually updated in here. Now what I've just done there, you can also do into Word exactly the same. So if I just bring up a Word document onto the screen, like so, and do the same. So if I insert the same diagram, hierarchy, like that, and open it up in the same way, you can paste the data in there. Once you've copied it, you can anyhow. If I go back into Excel and copy that, copy, come back into Word and do control A to select it all and paste. And I get the same structure and the same process applies. Pressing your tab, highlighting these three sales reps, pressing tab twice, so they come underneath that person, pressing tab for Bob, and then tab twice for Carol. So that's how you can quickly get data from a list into a smart art diagram and what I've done there for the hierarchy diagram would apply for any other diagram and the same process works in PowerPoint as well. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.